Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn about the syllabus of batch 5 and along with that, in what way we are going to proceed with batch 5. So let us get started with that. So this is the syllabus and I know before we start to the syllabus, let me explain you the projects that we are going to cover in batch 5. Okay. So there will be 10 or 11 hands-on implementation of the project that we are going to implement. Okay. And this time I have kept multi-tier applications in different programming language with different databases so that you can understand how we can connect a database to our application. So this will be three different uh, multi-tier application with different database, MySQL, Postgres and MongoDB. Side by side, we are going to also work with a microservice based application and you will get to learn like how you can work with microservice based application, how you can automate the deployments. Then we are going to have full stack CRUD, uh, CRUD project in Java, full stack uh, Spring Boot application, dynamic portfolio website, virtual browser uh, application, python based application, then .NET based full stack application. So these are the projects that we are going to implement from scratch. Okay. So this will be the implement implementation part. Then we are going to have five different projects which I will explain to you. The architecture, the design, how they are built, how they are deployed. So that you get to know how companies work, how they like build and deploy applications. So that will also be there. Now starting from scratch again. Okay? So uh, in batch 5, first of all, we are going to have live sessions on weekends from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. IST hours. On weekdays, you are going to get custom recorded videos so that like we can cover bigger topics and more topics. Then projects, you just uh, saw that, right? And weekly assignments I'll be giving you so that you can start and you can practice well, okay? Then we are going to get started with module 1 where we are going to cover DevOps. So here we are going to understand what exactly is DevOps and what is the actual workflow that is being followed in companies. How they use DevOps to build and deploy applications. That will be there. Then there will be module 2 in Linux. So in Linux we are going to understand all the commands that we need to know as a DevOps engineer. Most important we have package management, user and group management, Linux file system permissions, Linux security, basic networking and commands, error and troubleshooting. This is one of the most important uh, section that I believe is there because you know when you are learning with uh, working with any or any of the projects so you should know what kind of errors can come and how you can troubleshoot them. Then we are going to have shell scripting then I am going to explain you uh, multiple shell scripts that are being used in companies so that you can understand what kind of shell scripts are being used there. Then again troubleshooting and assignments will be there. Module 3 git git version control and branching strategy so branching strategy is one of the most important topic with respect to git so first we are going to understand all the important commands about git git cherry pick reset revert merge rebase all those things hands on then i'm going to explain you different real time branching strategies that is being followed in companies okay some of the uh, branching strategies that i have followed in my previous companies that also i'll be explaining you so that you get a good really good idea in real time how branching strategy works okay then coming to module 4 where we'll be working with build tools. Maven will be there for like working with Java based application. Then we'll be using Node.js and PM for working with Node.js based applications. Okay. Then there will be module 5 which is for CI tools. Here Jenkins we are going to cover in deep everything you will get to know about Jenkins. How to set up, how to create free style pipeline multi-branch uh, Jenkins jobs very easily. That will be the most important part. Then webhooks, then adding a virtual machine as a slave agent. The integration of different tools like Maven, Git, SonarCube, Nexus, Trivi, Docker, Kubernetes, uh, Ansible, Terraform, everything I'm going to show you. We are also going to see how we can configure mail notification, how we can uh, take backup of Jenkins, all those things we are going to cover. And Jenkins is one of the tools that we are going to cover throughout the course uh, integrating multiple tools. Then we have GitHub Actions. So in along with like Jenkins and the CI CD tool, we are also going to learn about GitHub Actions, how we can set up GitHub Action, how we can add a uh, like uh, uh, at a virtual machine as an agent or a runner in github action how we can build a full stack pipeline to build and deploy an application to kubernetes then we will be having azure devops full stack azure devops will be there where i'll show you how you can work with azure devops set it up and like keep your source code in azure repo then use azure pipelines to build and deploy applications everything will be there in azure devops as well Module 6 will be security in DevOps. So first of all, we will be getting started with SonarCube. When I say it's going to be deep dive, that means it is going to be really a deep dive because I go, I'm going to show you how to work with SonarCube, how to perform code quality check, code coverage and everything. Plus how to manipulate the SonarCube from backend. That also I'm going to show you. Then we'll be having Trivi. So we'll be using Trivi for performing the file system scan on our source code and also scanning the Docker image. Then we'll be having a Prowler. 
Crawler tool is basically used for scanning cloud platforms like AWS, Azure or so. So that also I'll be showing you. Then we have Docker Scout, Scout which is used for Docker images for, as a part of security tool. Okay. Coming to next which is uh, module 7 for artifact management. So when you build an application as a byproduct there will be artifacts generated maybe it in jar file, war file, zip format or anything else. So how we can manage them right. So for that we are going to show uh, we are going to use Nexus. I'll show you how to set it up, how to publish artifacts to it, how we can manage it all those things and how we can set up docker registry inside Nexus because this is one of the uh, thing that is being used in every company at this point. Then we have code artifacts. Similar kind of Nexus we have code artifacts so there also I'll show you how you can use it hands on along with the Azure artifacts. Okay. Moving to next we have docker. So in docker deep dive will be there we are going to learn how to write docker files, how to write a multi-stage docker file, understanding docker images, docker containers, how to manipulate with them, how to work with docker networks, how to uh, use docker compose and docker volumes and how we can integrate docker with different CI CD tools as well. So that also we are going to uh, work with. Then we have Kubernetes. Kubernetes will be deep dive. I'll show you how to set up Kubernetes on self-hosted virtual machines, on EKS, on AKS, all the things. And we are going to deploy application on all three kind of clusters so that you have a really good knowledge. Then we are going to understand architecture, workflow, Kubernetes component, manifest YAML files, scaling and deploying applications with databases and persistent volumes, liveness probe, readiness probe and resource management, debugging and fixing issues. This is one of the best part that I think you should definitely know. Coming to next, we have uh, module 10, which is infrastructure as code, where we are going to work with Terraform and Ansible. Okay. So based on the requirement, like uh, how they are being used in companies, how you should be explaining them in, in your interviews, all those things I'll be explaining you. Okay. So these things will be there and multiple projects we are going to do with Ansible and Terraform. Coming to next, we have Azure DevOps. So Azure DevOps full stack tutorial will be there from beginning from scratch. You can set it up. You can create organization, push your code, create pipelines, deploy applications to not just AKS, deploy application to app service as well so that you can understand how exactly Azure DevOps works. Then we have monitoring, monitoring also we are going to show you Prometheus, Node Exporter, Blackbox Exporter and Grafana. These are the four tools that we are going to cover very deep. Okay. And we are going to also cover real time projects. What kind of projects exist in companies that also we are going to discuss in detail. Then we have module 13, which is resume and corporate projects. So in resume, basically I'll be helping you what, like how to prepare your resume, what kind of task is good to mention and how you can explain projects, all those things I'm going to exp uh, like uh, explain. And finally projects for batch five. So I just explained you, these are the different amazing projects that we are going to have in batch five, right? Now talking about how to enroll. So you can simply go here on my website and you can click on latest courses. And here you can see batch 5, click on it and you can enroll. The cost is 6499 and you can enroll. And here you can find all the details. And also, once you enroll, you will get the uh, link for Telegram group. Okay. So, yeah, that will be all for today, team. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.